Hi, my name is Byron Martin, and today we're going to be talking about the Grevillea genus. These are flowering plants that originate out of Australia, and they have these most spectacular flowers that appear throughout the year. Um, there's several forms of them. Uh, Grevillea robusta is a very large tree, which doesn't do very well as a container plant, but some of them, this particular one is a hybrid, and um, it does very well as a container plant. And they come in many different sizes. The Stella maniana that we grow, which is a very tiny little flower in a small bush, where this plant actually can get up to, well, this one is about five feet tall. We maintain it at this size. Um, it would actually get bigger, but in its native habitat, it's actually used as a shrub or a hedge um, throughout Australia. Um, they flower throughout the year, and this is winter time that we're in now in Connecticut, and the light level here is really not that great. It's um, in our coal greenhouse is a lot of shadow on it and so on and you can see the plant is still flowering and budding up so it's probably not a day that this particular um, cultivar of grevillea is not in bloom for us and the flowers really are quite spectacular this time of year the colors are a little bit soft um, they get very bright colored as we get um, into the higher and stronger light level of summer time the key to growing grevilleas is to um, grow them in an acidic mix and for that we use a mix of half peat and half perlite 50-50 and we don't feed them. Uh, we have a sign that says you know make sure they don't get fertilized. They do need fertilizer however it's the middle number in your formulation the phosphorus that will actually kill them and even with small amounts of fertilizer, which can be given over t from time to time, providing there isn't a lot of phosphorus in it, you want to go really, really easy on it. Um, this plant here uh, maybe is fertilized once or twice a, a year with a very dilute solution. There really aren't too many insects that bother them. That's the good thing about grevilleas. Um, occasionally we've seen mealybug on them, but for the most part we don't see a lot of um, the typical greenhouse insects feeding on them. Uh, there can be some issues with um, fungus, uh, botrytis, fungus is on the um, foliage if the air is stagnant, but that's usually something that um, you just have to dry things out a little bit, and um, that usually goes away. So they flower throughout the year. Um, they can be pruned at any time. Generally, you do most of our pruning on them in the summertime to head them back some. This plant has um, been with us in this spot and in this pot for about five years now, and we've done a little bit of pruning here and there. Um, for the most part, we just kind of let it grow and um, send out buds and flower. So anyway, for a really exotic flowering plant, try a grevillea. Um, as I said, they come in different sizes and forms. Um, most of them have very beautiful inflorescences that um, brighten up anyone's day. So there's a little bit of information on how to grow one of Australia's most beautiful flowering shrubs. Thank you for watching, and you can find more information at logis.com.